Nagaland Chief Secretary Temjan Toy addressing the media person at Kohima said that with the arrival of the stranded person from outside the state, the government along with the district's administrations and frontline workers have been stepping up its preventive measures with great efficiency. The Chief Secretary stating on the facility for applying on the portal iamstranded.nagaland.gov.in by the stranded citizens of Nagaland who voluntarily opt to stay back in their respective places of residence and avail a one-time assistant of rupees 10,000 reopened a total of 9,985 number of applicants have been received and he added that the facility for making application will remain open till 10 a.m. of the 26th of May 2020. At this point of time we have more or less about 3,000. Then Kohima, we have about an equal number. Then after they are sent to the districts, I've had uh, video conferences with all the DCs, and they are comfortable. We, we have to keep track of each and every one of them. And those who are paying for themselves also will need to be monitored. The government cannot function like this. You know, try and seek the approval of each and every organization, each and every society, no. We take decisions. As per what we, uh, what after going through all the details and the nitty gritty, we decide on what is best. The Chief Secretary, Temjan Twai, while also highlighting on the financial status, said that the health sector alone, starting from the beginning of the preparedness of the COVID-19 state, has already spent 60 crores and almost 3 crores have spent from the Chief Ministry Relief Fund by way of helping the standard citizens outside the state. While 25 crores have spent in a way of helping the migrants and grant of grievances, the Chief Secretary also stated that the state government will look into the matter and take necessary step on the interstate seal border which was urged by the Assam government to reopen the interstate border that was shut by the neighboring state recently. The health sector alone, starting with, you know, on the PPEs uh, and ventilators, ambulances, PSL and everything, I think we have spent uh, close to uh, 60 crores already. Outside of that, from the Chief Minister's Relief Fund. Almost three crores have been spent by way of uh, helping the stranded people. The Chief Secretary also lamented that the special train from Guru Gram in Haryana that was carrying stranded citizens of the northeastern states at the Dhanapur railway station in Bihar incident was unfortunate. Chief Secretary also stated that Nagaland state arrangement for the special train from Delhi, Bangalore and other train which was already arranged by the Andhra Pradesh government for the northeast states were expected to reach Dimapur in a couple of days. State government also requested the North India state to issue an e pass and allow them to come by buses where the state government will be paying the hire for the buses he added there's another train on the way that is not arranged by us that, that is arranged by uh, the government of Haryana for northeastern states uh, there has been delay of course there was an incident in, uh, in Bihar unfortunate incident that should not have been but then the moment we got that information we were in touch with the railway Police force and things were brought under control. Nagaland arranged train will be from Bangalore. The next one will be from uh, from Delhi. In the meantime, there are other trains also coming. Government of Andhra Pradesh, they have been kind enough to uh, arrange trains for the northeastern states. In addition to that, Chief Secretary also stated that to those special train coming to Nagaland, the team is working on to arrange the train for the migrant workers to take back if necessary. The Chief Secretary also stated the state government will look into the matter and take necessary steps on the interstate seal border, which urged by the Assam government to reopen the interstate border that was shut by the neighboring state recently.